Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to talk about lesson 27. The world is becoming smaller and smaller. Okay, let's start. Ladies and gentlemen, more and more foreigners are coming to Vietnam. More and more people around the world are starting to learn Vietnamese. More and more Vietnamese are starting to do business and travel around the world. The world is becoming smaller and smaller. That's why English is becoming more and more important in Vietnam. If we want to ensure a great future for Vietnam, we must practice English harder than ever before. Lesson 28, uh, our book is like a good friend. Ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to talk about books. A good book is like a good friend. You should read as many books as you possibly can. You shouldn't just take a quick look at a book. You should read it carefully again and again. There's a famous quote, a man who doesn't read books is far worse off than a man who can't read books. Make books your friends and let books take you around the world. Get a book now and dive into it. Let the wisdom contain books guide you through your life. Lesson 29 is it food or food? Ladies and gentlemen, today I'd like to talk about two words, food and food. I will never forget how shocked I was the first time I came to Vietnam and my host asked me, do you like Vietnamese food? I was told that Vietnamese people like to eat all kinds of unusual food, but I never imagined that they ate their own people's food. Of course, I replied, no, I don't like it, but my, but my heart, but my heart insisted that uh, Vietnamese food is, is so delicious, you must at least try Vietnamese food. I told him that I would be glad to try Vietnamese peace food, but not Vietnamese food. My heart realized his mistake and we both had a great laugh. I was so relieved that the problem was not a cultural difference, merely a case by pronunciation. Please take my advice and practice the correct pronunciation of food and food. Thank you. You also, this embarrassing situation would never happen to you. Lesson 30. Uh, how to speak fluent English. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe you all want to speak good English. Now let me give you some advice. Don't be afraid of losing face. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Don't be afraid of practicing your English. Don't be sure of speaking Korean. Don't be sure of being a lover. Don't be sure of being sad. The only thing, the only real shame is that you never open your mouth. The only way to learn English is to never be afraid and never be ashamed. It's never too late to make a change in your life. A change in your life. Don't be afraid. No pain, no gain. You can make it. You are great. Yes, in 86, Miss Carl. Mandy, did you know he, he's a call, call you? No. When, did, when she got? Two hours ago, I think. Uh, two hours ago? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Sorry, I forgot. What did he say? What did he say? Uh, she said uh, she's waiting for you at uh, her sister's place. Okay, I was going uh, to cook dinner first, but I don't think I have enough time now. I will just warm up uh, some left. Left hours in the in the microwave. Okay, if she calls again, I tell her I'm gonna uh, to be late. To be late. Okay, no problem. This this is very important. Don't forget. Don't worry. I won't forget. Actually, would you please hand me uh, my phone? I think I should give her a call now. She's probably wondering wondering where I am. Sure, I will get it for you. Lesson 87 Shopping of shopping for a friend. I'm going shopping. Do you want to come? Uh, I thought you were going shopping yesterday. I just met an old friend <coughs> coming last night and invited me to his birthday party. I need to buy a gift for a gift for home for him. I see where you going to get him uh, to get to get him. I really have no idea what he likes. I haven't seen him in a long time. What do you think? Maybe a cake? Well, that's a good idea. But I think I should probably get him something else like something he can wear how about sweater i saw a, a really nice one in the mall on the other day on the other day maybe we can go there and take a look okay what store was in was it in uh, it was a uh, mercy i think they are having a sale with this weekend oh that's a really really nice store i like the clothes there that's an 88 what what's it done what is the measure hi daniel Hi Daniel, uh, what are you doing here? Hi Tim, how are you? I'm waiting for a friend. Uh, I hear you, you're going to graduate this summer, is that true? Yes, if everything goes alright, I will be getting my bachelor's degree in hours. Then I need to, to start looking for a job. 
I had to do that last year. I wasn't easy. Do you have any uh, job offers? No, uh, no, not yet. Uh, I sent out a lot of resumes, but I didn't re receive many response. It's pretty hard to find a job right now. What's your major? Psychology. That was that was my major when I started in college, but I switched to engineering after the first year. I think it's easy for engineers uh, to find a job. I'm not sure uh, about that. Uh, it took me about three months uh, to find a job. I finally was able to get uh, a job after I put my resume on one of those uh, job websites. Anyway, it, it, anyway, it really does matter. Uh, if I can't find a job, I would probably go to school to get my master's degree. Lesson 98, new apartment. Hello, hi Gary. What's up? I haven't talked to you in a long time. What's been happening? Well, I don't know if you hear. I just moved on. I moved, moved into a new apartment in LA. No, I hear. I hear you were thinking about moving, but I didn't know you are already found a place. That's cool. Yeah, uh, I'm really happy about it. Do you have any any roommates? Uh, no, not this time. This big change for me because I never never live uh, live alone. Don't you think you you will be lonely? Not really. Uh, I have two friends who live in the same building. We all had come had dinner together last night. Are they still in also? No, they're not students, but there there are a lot of students living in the in the building. That's not a nice place. Yeah. I think it's a good environment for learning English. Well, I'm glad to hear everything. Wow, you should come. You should come out. Come out here and visit me sometime. There's a pool. Uh, that would be nice. I will think about it. That's all about my answer. See you in my next video. Bye bye.